first up to the United States, five people were killed in fact as the plane crashed on one of New York City's busiest highways. Two New York City investment bankers including Indian American Rakesh Chawla were among the casualties there. The plane in fact spiraling out of control, losing a wing as well before hitting uh, the wooden strip on the highway there. Pakistan President Zarbari's return to Dubai has been seen as a cameo before his wife Benazir Bhutto's death anniversary. The New York Times claims that Zarbari's visit will be short and he is expected to leave Islamabad soon. North Koreans continue to mourn the death of their leader Kim Jong-il. Women and children were seen laying flowers on the feet of King's a statue across the country. The North Koreans have already declared a 10-day mourning period after the demise of their leader. And now on to Egypt and Cairo's Terry Square, hundreds of women marched to protest against the military and use of the force against female protesters. They called on the ruling generals to step down and shouted anti-military slogans and their placards. At least 14 people have been killed in five days after troops used guns, tear gas and batons to break up the protests.